It's time to present some evidence and expose her lies. Okay. Let's see, which one do we present? I think it's gonna be... Let's just look at the evidence. Details. Wait, it's It wasn't art? this one. The tag's still on it. Oh my god, you're right! Because we have the... The one she had was a different one. Oh my god. So how do we prove that? What do we press what's, to prove um, that? What's the next comment? Uh, next. Okay, there's one more. Okay, maybe you should present. I wrestled this toy back from that thief and gave it to the Okay, place. present the tag. Present the tag. Objection! Yeah. Miss Aldente, I would like to confirm just one thing. Yeah. The stuffed animal you submitted to the police, is it this one? Good catch, by the way. Yeah, that's the one, no doubt about it. I'm sorry, but if that's the case, things simply don't add up. Oh, it doesn't add up. Poor Flinch is gonna, like, die from dehydration from sweating so much. Um, if it's about the leg, it's that girl's fault. It got ripped off because she wouldn't let go. The problem is not something that's missing from this stuffed animal. On the contrary, it's something that shouldn't be there in the first place. Huh. Something that shouldn't be there? And this is, of course, this item. That that's This is the final piece of evidence received from the guard, Mr. Smiles. Yep, yep, yep. When I seized the girl at the crime scene, she was clasping this in her hand. She didn't even seem to notice. And what would that be? It would appear to be PC if I just tag your honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange, isn't it? Something was definitely ripped off this plushie. But it wasn't its leg, it was the tag. <laughs> you noticed it too, didn't you, Miss Eldente? If this is the stuffed animal that Miss Cantabella was holding when you found her, then why is the tag still on it? Dun 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 dun! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Order! Order! I will have order! What is the meaning of this? Taste is looking prosecutor over there. It is. This is about a tag. You didn't tell me anything about that. Aw, oh, man. If, if you please calm down. No, no. She'll never calm down. It's no use blaming the prosecutor. He didn't even know this tag existed. It's true. Witness, I have not been informed of such evidence. I mean, he was. If you had this in your possession, why didn't you add it to the police? Sorry, Mr. Prosecutor, I am an expert at what I do. My expert advice is to myself was that I'd better keep this as my secret weapon. Smile, smile. So I waited for the right moment to single-handedly settle this trial. ka -chomp. <laughs> I miss trying smiles already. <laughs> better or for worse, this tag's existence has only recently come to light. Neither the prosecution nor you, Your Honor, knew about it before this trial. <laughs> but then, why is there a tag on this toy? How come this toy has a tag? Okay. I don't understand. Explain merchandising to me. <laughs> the answer's simple. There's a tag on this stuffed animal because... <laughs> Explain merchandising to me. <laughs> the toy was swapped. Uh, she put a new tag on it. She took the wrong toy. I think the toy was swapped. Because she... There's only one possibility. Miss Aldente, before handing the plushie into the police, you swapped it for another. Yep. Yeah! Listen to yourself. Why would I even do something like that? Ridiculo! Ridiculolo! And that's right, that tag must be a fake. A fake? Why would you think that? The Jungle Freak must be trying to frame me. That's what it is. Objection! Oh. Mr. Smiles has no motive to do something like that. Objection! Oh. And it's not smart enough. No motive. It doesn't require much thinking to come up with one. He wanted attention. Well. Yes, what he said. It's a god like to show off. That's all there is to it. Did Johnny produce bogus evidence to draw attention to himself? No, it's impossible. It's an interesting theory, but it's impossible. And how do you know? You, I'll dice you like an onion. Anyway. <laughs> was anyway. Mr. Smiles lying? There's an easy way to find out. We ask him, huh? How do you plan to check it? 
By checking the fingerprints, of course. Oh. Fingerprints? Ah! According to Mr. Smile's testimony, when he sees Miss Cantabella, she was holding the tag in her oh, hand. Oh, that's right. We have her fingerprints on the pipe, Therefore, so. her fingerprints should still be on that tag. Kya. <laughs> Have this evidence investigated immediately. <laughs> that was awesome, Nick. We've almost got her now. Do you have a bailiff? I haven't seen a bailiff. He's around. Mr. Flinch, I have a question for you. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> Questions. I can't answer those. When you searched the crime scene, did you find a toy without a tag? Humph. Well, Mr. Flinch, did you? Uh, no. We, um... Considering the circumstances, it did not seem necessary to investigate quite so thoroughly. But at the very least, I can tell you that all the toys in the grate had tags on. What? How could you tell us that if you didn't investigate Excuse that? Excuse me, Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Wright? It appears no stuffed animal was found without a tag. Which means that it may still be hidden at the crime scene. Ah! Uh -huh. Your Honor, the defense requested the ship be searched thoroughly this time. Send a forensics team there immediately. Yeah! You're requesting another search? More, more work. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am, and don't call me Shirley. Whether the toy was swapped or not, it doesn't matter in the least. Oh, no, it matters. They are all the same. Any of them will do just fine. That is exactly why it's important. All these plushies are the same. There's no need to swap one for another. And yet... Why is the witness getting so worked up about it? That's... that's just... Oh my god, I just realized something. I had a feeling... I'm not gonna say it, though. That there was something odd about this case. Maybe I should say it, though. A stolen stuffed animal and an assault connected to it? Wait, what, what, what's, what's on your mind? You're, you're blowing up over here. The jewels are under her hat. Yep. It's not the... Ooh. Not the injury. Oh my god! There had to be well, more the plushie, to it. The plushie there had there. to be another crime Jesus under the surface. Christ! It. What should I do? Request. No, wait, you don't have to request search. You know it's here. Right? We shouldn't request a search if we know that. I don't know, this is tough. I mean, I mean, you could request a search, but I know it's not there. Let's wait and see what happens. Wait and see what happens. Witness is already pretty shaken. I'll wait a while and see what happens. No, Nick. Olivia's lost the ground for whatever. It's time to deliver the final blow. Got it, Maya. Thanks. I gotta press on. I just need to take a deep breath and say what I think is right. Okay. Your Honor, the defense insists on a search. Okay. Okay. What I chose didn't matter. Should once she, without a tag, be found on the ship, and there's a strong possibility that this case will be resolved. Objection! Oh, I didn't get to read that. Whoa! Whoa! What? Where were you hiding that fish? Oh, I guess. I guess she doesn't want to search because we'll find the jewels that are on her still. What? What is? Ms. Aldente, why did you swap the stuffed animal? And why are you so afraid of having the ship searched? PC Badger holds all the answers. <laughs> her expression is I, awesome. I say, Mr. Wright, could it be that you already know the reason behind the swap? Of course, I don't yeah. have any proof. But, when it comes to pointing out a possibility, I might have something. When it comes to suggesting things wildly and hoping people react... Alright, well, let's see some evidence. Do you have any evidence that would explain why Miss Aldente is against the search? You're gonna post that newspaper. newspaper. Take that! Take that! There is a certain article in this newspaper. Elusive jewel thieves at large in London. Scotland Yard on Red Alert. Oh, that robbery. I have heard about it, of course. I read it. I'm, 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 I'm aware. I, I didn't just find out about it just now, no. A I group of thieves the robbed a jewelry shop and made up away with about 50 pieces of jewelry. Many extremely valuable stones were stolen as well. Scotland Yard's under great pressure to find them. All packages sent out from London are being scrutinized by the police. Uh -huh. And what does this have to do with our case? Nothing. Nothing, tra-la-la. I beg to differ. The jewel theft took place in London. And that's where our freighter picked up its cargo. London? I mean, you can't be. Witness? 
Huh. That fish gonna die. Huh. The fish is in so much trouble. Huh. That night you discovered the definitive cargo. I'm worried about that fish. She was holding one of the plushies. You knew you had to get it back. Oh god! You had to get it back at all costs, but why go so far for a mere plushie? Oh my god! There is only one possible reason. You couldn't afford to have the police discover what was inside of it. You called it! You uh, the instant that... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love Hero it. Hero Fish saves day. I love it. <laughs> That's the new headline. Hero Fish saves day. I hope you put that somewhere. That's wonderful. That's great. We have just received a report from the team investigating the crime scene. This oh. toy was hidden between a storage unit I was wrong. and a pipe. I'm so mad! I wish it was under her hat. It would have been uh, Would have been good. The toy has been cut open and the contents examined. And this was found inside. A pink diamond worth approximately 100,000 pounds. Sterling. Euros. No. No? No. There's a pound. Oh. We have also received a report from the crime lab. The defendant's fingerprints have been found on the tag. Do you have anything to say, Ms. El Dente? Ha! <laughs> the fish. <laughs> the fish mark. I lost the Dente. So, so you are all right? Yes, I am one of them. <laughs> I'm one of the jewel thieves. Aww. My goal was to get the loot out of London. The police never checked out your shipments from that workshop. We decided to take advantage of that blind spot. Indeed, the regular direct delivery service has been overlooked by the police. Possibly because that workshop produces the very mascots representing the police. And they turn a blind eye. The other crew had nothing to do with it. I use their ship, that's all. It was you who hid the jewels inside the plushies. There was only one jewel in each toy. I was carrying them away one by one. The defendant happened to pick one of those toys up. Ah. I had my art stand still when I saw that girl as a cargo hold. Whenever I was free, I stood guard in front of that room, yet she got in somehow. So strange. So there she was in the room with the eaten loot, one of the toys in her hand. Ah. Uh, so how did the spell get in there? <laughs> I don't know. If she was trying to steal the toy or what. But I just had to get it back from her, no matter the cost. Then I handed it in a different toy and made it look like it was ripped in the fight. It would have been over for me if the police had found any of the jewels. Well, it's over now, so, you know. Sorry. None of us have anything to say about this. We're all just kind of... What do we do now? You guys hungry? You want to go get something? Do it like a <laughs> what? Oh, Lunch but wait. Break. Who was it in the end? Who hit Olivia? Uh, oh, I almost forgot about that. At first, I thought it must have been that little girl. It was Johnny hit smiles? Me. I hit her. <laughs> but now I don't know. You don't know? Oh, maybe not. Maybe no one else was supposed to be in that room. It's the witch. The witch. The witch hit her. The witch. But what if? There was someone in the shadows. The bigger plot, the bigger Some story. mischievous person, mischievous. hidden in the darkness. Hidden in the darkness, waiting to attack. Rah. <laughs> I have a huge headache. I'm tired, I'm hot. Get out of my court, I don't care. <laughs> that was a most unusual case. It cannot be said that all mysteries have been resolved. But it has become clear that Miss Cantabella is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It would seem that I owe you thanks for helping us see the truth. Thanks, man. It's pretty no, good of you. Think me, Your Honor. I was just doing my job, like I always uh, do. Uh, kawaii! <laughs> it's really the smartest thing you've come up with. <laughs> And Mr. Flinch? Y yes, Your Honor. This trial was part of the Legal League of Attorneys Exchange program, wasn't it? May this trial serve as a lesson to you, too. Is that understood? Ooh. <laughs> it is as you say, Your Honor. Oh! Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look! You have my glasses, I can't see, and I don't want to be seen. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
Oh my god, playing Chili Moly. Ahem, well then. The court has reached its <laughs> verdict. I pronounce the defendant Isabella Cantabella. Not guilty! Yay! Throw a quick throw! Confetti! Confetti! Make a wreck of the court! <laughs> we had that waiting Why for her. Why wouldn't you do if that? If it was guilty, they would have put that too. You know, so... <laughs> they just like to use the confetti. It's always a party in the courtrooms. Congratulations, you did it, Nick. Yeah, thanks. I guess I should be happy. <gasps> oh no, it's her. Darklaw's cold gaze is staring daggers through me. She ain't happy about this. What? Thank you, Mr. Wright. You are better than I thought. Had I known earlier, I would have asked you to prove a spell at the very start. Oh, she's on our side? Uh, I'm glad you're happy about the verdict. I think she's. Espella, come and thank Mr. Wright. Huh. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Glad I could help. This girl's creepy. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> hey, Spella. What's that big book you got there? You want a report? Hmm? What you got some homework? What you mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got? Oh, please forgive her. She's a bit shy, you see. She's very fond of books. A little too fond. At any rate, now Spella can return to her peaceful life at our boarding school. Yep. All thanks to your hard work, Mr. Wright. So don't well, pursue the case any further. Problem Just solved. go home, back to America, <laughs> and never talk to Espella or me ever again. Thank you. Bye. Farewell. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Now please excuse me. We have some. We have to go. For all these things to do. Bye. We're gonna. We're gonna leave now. Oh yes, yes, of course. Mr. Mr. Wright, you were truly outstanding in that courtroom today. Good job, now buddy. We're gonna get. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go. Farewell. I think, I think she's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's finally over. It's finally over. Well, thanks for playing, everyone. That's the game. This has been Puzzle <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I think there might be more. Yeah, Ma see? Maya, no, we're, do we're doing the wrap-up. We're doing the wrap-up here. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for watching. It's been fun. We're going to we're gonna leave a the person who Olivia. Where'd they go? Uh, well, I mean, that, that doesn't matter, though. I mean, the, game, the game's over, and there's going to be some other stuff, so just... I don't know if she actually assaulted Olivia. If it wasn't a spell, there must have been another person at the crime scene. Yeah, it's true. But I mean, that's not, I mean, that kind of... <gasps> Neither Olivia nor Johnny saw anyone else! The room was dark today for emergency light. I'm sure someone hid in the shadows. Oh, no! And Johnny was wearing sunglasses. I'm amazed he saw anything at all. And he's basically functionally, like, retarded. So <laughs> he's not doing anything. There's no way he saw anything useful. He missed all of those clues, so it's not much of a stretch to imagine he missed the perpetrator, too. Hmm. How about we head back now? Okay, let's go check out Tower Bridge while we have some daylight left. Oh, are we gonna meet Layton? What? On like, the bridge? Oh. Maya, we just were in court hmm? all day. What is it, Maya? There, on the couch. Isn't that Espella's book? <gasps> like, totally. It is the book she was holding. No way. We should return it to her. Maya sounds like a valley girl. A yep. Bit. Hey, Nick. Let's see what kind of stuff Espella likes Don't to open read. the book! Don't open the book! Just quit it, Maya. Don't make us read. Labyrinthia, huh? Oh god, they're going to the book. Hmm? How about I? What? Huh? <gasps> huh? Maya, look! Huh? <gasps> hey, Nick, look. That's us, isn't it? <gasps> oh no! You weren't even at Tower Bridge place thingy. Then it happened to you. Oh no. I hope Estelle still gets her book back. Everyone's stuck. In a book. Well. To be continued. To be continued! Thanks for watching, everybody. That was good! <laughs> that was all. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be continuing this soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! Credibility too. <laughs> Yeah, our credibility suffered there. <laughs>